Ice up. Ice what? Whoa, whoa, baby. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. What's up, everybody? It's actually day two of the return of daily uploads, and I'm loving it so far. I, I love making these videos, and now there's actually content to make videos on. It's awesome. I'm so happy football season is back. But I want to address something a little before we go into the video. Um, I seem to make a lot of Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans mad yesterday uh, for my matchups to watch video. I don't know what it was. I don't. I just think they didn't like the fact that I pointed out that Marshawn Lattimore is um, the owner of Mike Evans at this point. Um, the fact that he kept them off the box score with zero catches, zero yards on two targets. I don't. I don't know what. Would you want me to not look at statistics and just say that that isn't true when it's true? Um, I just want to let you guys, you Tampa Bay fans know, don't make the same mistake I made in the past. Do not get a big head before you see your team go out on the field and play. We have seen this same New Orleans Saints team go 13-3 and three two years in a row. We can say things, but you guys have not seen this new roster step out and do anything yet. I'm just saying, spare yourself from the stupidity if it does come. Just shut up until the game comes. I haven't been talking trash. Literally, I said a couple of jokes about... I said buck of queers and that pissed so many people off. It's a joke. Wait till you see your team go out on the field and then start talking. I'm just trying to spare you from looking stupid. Anyway, today we're going to be doing the Saints vs. Buccaneers Keys to Victory, which is the second video on this schedule. Um, I'm going off of what you guys voted for. This had the second most votes. And how, well, how we do these Key to Victory videos... Um, I have this chat in my Discord server called Keys to Victory, and what it is, is uh, people in my Discord server can go into that chat, type what they think their key to winning this game is, and I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to add my own little take on it, and, and let you guys know if it is a legit key to win this game. Today we have five keys that were put in by multiple different people from the Discord, whose names will all be mentioned, so let's go ahead and start it off with number one. I almost just choked. Number one, we got Wyatt, who said, abuse the secondary. Uh, the Buccaneers secondary is filled with a bunch of absolute nobodies that suck butt cheek. So no matter what coverage they run, Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, Jared Cook, and even Alvin Kamara should find success in the receiving game. My only concern is Jared Cook, because if Levante David or Devin White cover him, they can put up a really good fight. Now, no. What he said did not come out of my mouth. So do not come for me saying they have nobody. Like for me, I didn't say they had nobodies in their secondary that suck butt cheek. That was all why. I'm not saying I don't agree with him. I'm just, you know, I, I didn't say it. Um, I do agree. Uh, the Buccaneers, but, but the Buccaneers will make some plays in their secondary. They aren't the best, but they're definitely young. They're fast and are developing some brain power compared to last year. They're not as brain dead, uh, but I 100% agree. The secondary, regardless of these improvements, is without a doubt the weak link of the, tech, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. It's their weak point of their entire team, honestly. There's no question about that, and there's nothing false about me saying that the secondary is the weak point of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If they had a good secondary with that front seven, with the offense they should have, they could be one of the best teams in the league, but their secondary is kind of extremely lackluster. Uh, so a majority of their of our success should be coming through the air. I do agree players like Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, Jared Cook, and even Alvin Kamara should see some pretty big days um, on Sunday. I, I agree. Let's move on to number two. Number two, we have Clover. He said, establish the run game early, ground and pound with Latavius Murray at the start of the game. I like this idea. I really do. But it will be a bit difficult. The Buccaneers had the best run defense in the league last year, believe it or not. So establishing a run game will be a little difficult, but it isn't impossible. Getting Latavius going early could make the Bucs turn their heads away from outside runs, which could leave a big play on the field for Alvin Kamara. I agree. For clock control, tiring out Tampa's good front seven, great front seven even, and just straight up offensive balance, getting the run game going could be very beneficial. Tiring out Tampa Bay's defense, controlling the clock, and having offensive balance is a big key to winning this game. So I agree. We do need to establish the run game early and ground a pound with Latavius Murray to open things up. 
Number three, we have Spoon. He said, get pressure on Tom Brady. If we make him uncomfortable on his first game out with Tampa, it could result in a stalled offense. Don't give Brady time. I'm putting an emphasis on don't give Brady time. Tampa allowed 40 sacks last season. Some people are trying to say that all 40 of those sacks were at fault of Jameis Winston just to make it seem like this isn't another hole for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. I think it was a 75-25 effort, 75 being on the offensive line, 25 being on Jameis refusing to throw the ball away. Uh, but this is Tom Brady's first time ever in a system that isn't the New England Patriots system. He's playing with a brand new team for the first time in his career, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Bruce Arians. Put pressure on him. Make him uncomfortable. Take advantage of it. Make him uncomfortable. Cannot stress that enough, and I know Sean Payton is going to be sending some blitz packages on Sunday. Let's move on to key number four, where we have Joseph. He said, give Breeze time. Do not let Tampa get to him. Uh, Shaq Barrett led the league in sacks, and they also have Jason Pierre-Paul, Nadama Kinsu, and Vita Vea. 1,000% agreed. We have one of the top-rated offensive lines, actually the top-rated offensive rated offensive line, according to Football Outsiders, and only allowed 22 sacks last season. Cesar Ruiz, who should be an amazing player this year, with Eric McCoy, Teron Armstead, and Ryan Ramchek, that makes up one of the best offensive lines in the league without a doubt giving drew Brees time to dissect what should be a poopy booty butt cheek secondary should really give the new orleans saints the edge here like i said tampa i'm sorry but go watch uh mr bucks nation james my dude go watch his videos if you want some good takes on tampa what am i supposed to say am i supposed to be nice to y'all i can't but let's move on to key number five we got content he said our key to victory is absolutely stopping the run game. I agree. We do need to stop the run game. If we don't, it has a lot of negatives. And with them having Rojo, uh, Leonard Fournette now, and even uh, more, more running backs than I can even put my head on right now, they have a really loaded running back carousel in their backfield. Uh, it has a lot of negatives if we don't stop it. It'll open up the play action, which we all know Tom Brady loves. It'll give them control of the clock. It'll tire out our defense. The Saints were great on run defense last year. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and having Marcus Davenport and Sheldon Rankins fully healthy will work wonders and make us only that much better on the ground. Uh, this is a huge key to victory and something that should be talked about more. We have to stop the run game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you agree with any of these keys or have a key of your own, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to join the Discord to be a part of Keys to Victory next time it happens, I'll leave the Discord link in the description of this video. You can go ahead and join it. Um, and that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios. See you, bro,